Hey there, Saki here from Saki Tech, and in today's video, I want to do a gaming performance comparison between the iPhone 6s Plus versus the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. This is strictly gaming performance only video. If you want a full 6s Plus versus S7 Edge comparison, see the description for a link to a full video to see which one wins. In this video, what I'm going to do is first launch four different games on each smartphone at the same time to observe game launch times. After that, we will do actual gameplay of two graphic intensive games to assess which smartphone runs them smoother. We're not going to be biased. After we run the tests, we will conclude which phone is better at gaming performance based on our observations that you'll be watching the whole time. All right, so the first test is going to be conducted on Dead Trigger 2. So let's launch this game at the same time. And as you can see, the iPhone was much faster. So it is in fact so much faster, I'm gonna try this one more time. So let's go back and retry uh, this test again. Dead Trigger, and boom, the iPhone 6S Plus, in fact, is faster than the S7 Edge. And there we go, the S7 Edge is now ready. Uh, let's click play and see which game loads first. And once again, the iPhone 6S Plus seems to have a lead. And the S7 Edge is trailing behind, but there it is. All right, let's just wait for the S7 Edge to come down to, to the actual startup. All right. All right, so next game is gonna be Modern Combat 5, which is a very intensive game. So let's first do the launch test. Let's see which one launches faster. So it looks like the iPhone has a slight lead. S7 has caught up. And they're almost equal with a slight lead by the iPhone 6S Plus. So let's get rid of these pop-ups real quick. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go into a multiplayer component and start a multiplayer game. So let's tap that. And we're going to tap start and see which one is ready first. All right, so they're searching for opponents, waiting for players to join. And iPhone is already loading, and the Samsung is right behind. Let's wait and see what happens. There we go. So the iPhone 6S Plus has the lead in this scenario and the S7 Edge is done. Now let's go back and do the same thing with a single player mission. So let's click start, same time. iPhone already has started to load and it's ready. It says tap to continue. Uh, the S7 Edge is right behind. It's taking its time and it's ready. Okay, so the clear winner here was the iPhone 6S Plus. And let's do one final game, Real Racing 3. Let's see which one is going to load faster. So it looks like iPhone 6S Plus once again has the lead. Let's just wait and see what happens. Things could change, but they did not. So as you can see, the iPhone 6S Plus is already ready to go. And the S7 Edge is trailing behind slightly, and there we go. Done. So in all four tests, the winner was the iPhone 6S Plus as far as game launch speed is concerned. Now let's actually move on to some gameplay and see which one runs smoother. So let's just simply look around really quickly in both of these games and see if there's any frame rate drops or slowdowns. Nothing on the iPhone, it's silky smooth, super fast. Not a single drop frame. The Samsung S7 Edge actually is smooth and silky, but there is frame rate drop, occasional frame rate drop. Not too much, but there is. So we're doing the same thing on Modern Combat 5, looking for frame rate stability and smoothness. And as I play with this uh, game, I can tell you that the iPhone 6S Plus is in fact smoother with a consistent frame rate. Uh, but with the S7 Edge, even though the game is smooth and it's very playable, it simply does not have the frame rate stability that the iPhone 6 Plus has. So that concludes our tests. Let's move on to a conclusion. So of all the four games that we launched, the iPhone 6S Plus was faster to load each game. And on top of that, both of the games that we tried as far as gameplay goes for frame rate stability 
the iPhone 6s Plus in fact had a lead over the S7 Edge. Now the S7 Edge obviously plays the games like a champion. It is a flagship device. There's no question that it's going to play the games. But iPhone 6s Plus simply gave me a more smooth experience. The frames per second were clearly higher on the iPhone 6s Plus and they were more stable. So basically if you're looking for a phone on which you're going to be playing games all the time, the iPhone 6s Plus is going to give you the better experience as far as gaming goes. And just keep in mind that this is not a full comparison video, this is only comparing the gaming performance. If you want to see a full comparison video between the S7 Edge and the iPhone 6s Plus, check the link in the description below. Alright, so thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to Saki Tech if you're not a subscriber. Give this video a thumbs up or a thumbs down and have a great day.